welcome back to the channel everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about how to get raw distillate into a cartridge first off we're going to need our three essential items here we're going to need our raw distillate a syringe and a c cell cartridge or any cartridge you prefer to use so the biggest thing here is everything's going to be heated and I use my oven for this process and the best temperature I find is 180 degrees Fahrenheit and that seems to do the best overall for me. Um, other people might have a personal preference, but this has always worked for me. All right, so starting off, we're going to take our distillate and then we're going to put it in the oven. Um, this needs to go in before everything else, just because this will take longer to be heated up. So to get our cartridge ready, we're going to remove the cap and the bottom rubber bit. And now she's ready. I use glass syringes with a 14 gauge lure lock needle tip thing that will get all the way down in the cart and make it easier to fill. And now that the distill is heated up, we're going to take our syringe and our cartridge. And we're going to put it in the oven with it. So now after a few minutes of everything being heated up and ready to work with, we're going to take our distilled out of the oven. And then we're going to take our cartridge out of the oven and put it into where we need to be to fill it and then our syringe and then we're just going to immediately plunge our distillate so the distillate i was using actually didn't melt all the way so it was a little bit harder to plunge but as you can tell we still were able to fill up to the one milliliter just make sure you heat it up long enough where it's liquefied and it's easier to work with then just stick your tip down into the cartridge. And since it wasn't heated all the way, I like to do a little spin move around the middle rod. That way to ensure that the whole cartridge is filled all the way around. And boom, you have your full cartridge ready to go. Now just put the rubber bottom bit back on and then put the mouthpiece back on and you're set. I'd let it prime for at least six hours and then enjoy it. Thanks for watching.